Nothing makes you feel warm and cozy like a nice bowl of chicken soup. And while your grandma's might be the best, I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks that even she would approve of. The key to this soup is a rich, delicious stock. I'm gonna show you a few steps you shouldn't skip. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a little herb bundle. So I've got the tops of a leek here. I just split it down the middle. I'm gonna stuff it with some parsley stems, some thyme sprigs, and a couple of bay leaves. Got a little piece of kitchen twine here. And just tie it up nice and secure. I kind of give it a double wrap there. I'm gonna toss this in the stock to flavor the liquid. Parsley stems are one of those things you always throw away, but this is a great reason to keep them on hand. Ready to go. Cool, huh? The key to a deeply golden brown stock is browning your chicken wings before it goes in the water. So, got a little neutral flavored oil here. Working in batches, because I've got about three pounds of wings here, give them a nice golden brown. Remember that sizzles what you're looking for. Try not to overcrowd the pot. If I do, the wings are gonna steam and they're not gonna get crispy brown. Now leave them alone and let them brown. Okay, this is the last of my chicken wings, nice and brown. Next, I'm gonna add the aromatics, right, to the rendered chicken fat. Just some celery, carrots, onions, and a couple of garlic cloves. Cook them until they're nice and brown. Okay, so my veg looks awesome. I also, I forgot to mention, I left the onion skins on. They're brown, gonna help make the stock brown, too. Another super secret stock tip, a little tomato paste. Tomatoes have that umami flavor. That's gonna give a nice, deep, rich flavor to the stock. So just stir this in until it just starts to stick. So I'm gonna add just half a cup of water, and that's gonna help loosen up any of the brown bits that stuck to the bottom of the pot. See how nice and brown that looks in the bottom of the pot? We are making stock. Okay, now, everybody into the pot. Chicken goes back in, along with 12 cups of water. Don't forget your handy dandy herb bundle and some black peppercorns. Okay, now that everything's in the pot, I'm gonna bring this just to a boil. Okay, we're boiling now. I'm gonna turn down the heat just so the stock simmers. I'm just gonna take a nice wide spoon and skim some of the foam that's risen to the top. That's gonna help create a nice clear stock. So we'll keeping it just at a simmer. If you boil it too hard, that's gonna make a cloudy stock too. Okay, so I let my stock simmer for like two hours until it was rich and golden brown and well, it tasted like soup. So I strained out the chicken wings and the veg. And then, as far as soup goes, we like to keep it simple. So I've got some chopped carrots and some halved pearl onions. So just add that right to the simmering stock and then that shredded chicken thigh meat. So once the stock was strained, I poached some chicken thighs right in the stock. And once it was done, I pulled it out and just shredded the meat into bite-sized pieces. Last thing, your noodles. So these are just wavy egg noodles. I cooked them separately in some boiling salted water. I gave them a rinse under some cold water so they stopped cooking. That way they won't get mushy in the soup. Okay, soup looks awesome. I'm just gonna give it a taste for seasoning. It's good, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of salt. Don't forget, season every step of the way. Let's serve some up. Tender chicken, nice egg noodles, some carrots and onions for more flavor just the chicken soup I want to eat. Last thing, just to make it pretty, I'm gonna put a little bit of chervil on top. If you can't find chervil, no problem, just use parsley. Mm. Now that is a bowl of chicken noodle soup. For this and more comfort food classics, go to bonappetit.com backslash comfort.